All right, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the Crypto Breakdown. I am your host, Ryan Meta. Topic of the day, how to make Cardano NFTs from start to finish. Everything from creating the NFT, what programs I use, everything from creating the animations, creating the characters, what programs I use, the whole nine yards, all the way up to minting the actual Cardano NFT. So if you already have your NFT made and you wanna skip right to the how to mint, go down in the description and you'll see key points or just hover your cursor over the timeline and you'll actually see how to make Cardano NFTs. Bam, that's what you're looking for. So this is just the animation part. We're going to dive right through everything really quick. So let's get it. And of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial investor and I never advise you to invest in crypto in any way, shape or form. Thank you. So the first thing I use is Adobe Animate CC. And if you see right here when I'm talking, if I actually turn the camera on, I can turn my head left to right and this guy will actually turn left to right. But what we're gonna do is here is I'm gonna try to have my guy punch Ethereum, walk over to it, stop, raise his foot up, and then crush the Ethereum into the ground. We're gonna try to turn that into a GIF. So I use Adobe Illustrator to create all of my animated characters. I'm sure there's some rights or whatever you have to have rights to actually use somebody else's character. So I just want to make sure that I've created my own characters. You can see this guy's head. You have to edit and create everything in 3D. So every single look, every way that this guy turns, I have Cardano logos all over him. I've created a few Bitcoin ones. I've created a few Ethereum ones. But seeing how I'm launching Cardano NFTs in the Cardano platform, I figured, well, might as well make some Cardano ones as well. The next program I use is Adobe Premiere Pro. So you're gonna to need to have the Adobe Suite. If you don't already have it, if you are a student or you have any friends that have a student email, it's $30 a month and you have access to every one of these programs. And I have a ton of step-by-step -step tutorials on how to actually edit videos and everything like that in Premiere Pro. So once you actually understand the basics, it's a breeze. So I have a folder already created called NFT Projects. So if I scrub through the timeline right here, you can see the NFT that I created earlier. This was just one of my Kryptonics. My NFT collection is gonna be called Kryptonics. I'm gonna to try to make a couple hundred NFTs NFTs over the next, I don't know, year, six months, we'll give or take, we'll see how they do, how they sell. But um, I just really wanted to contribute to Cardano and make some cool artwork and kind of share my experience with the world. So I appreciate everybody who hits that like button, hits that subscribe button. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over into file, I'm gonna go to new, and I'm gonna start a new sequence. So over here in your settings, I just choose RE 1080-24P, and then again, just label it. In your settings, I change my frame size to 600 by 600. It's gonna give you the somewhat of the biggest quality resolution, the most decent size NFT without it being so tiny that it just gets overly pixelated. Now it's gonna make it a little bit more expensive to mint them because you're paying based off the size of the file. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna come over here and I wanna create a new bin. That way all my content is in this bin over here. I'm gonna go into my downloads. You can see right here I have that ETH crusher. We're just gonna drag and drop him in. And then over here I got Meta's 3D animated Ethereum logo. So I like to get a lot of my backgrounds and photos and stock images and stuff like that that you have rights and you can use over here on Envato Elements. So I'm gonna use this 80s vintage background. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna highlight each one of these, right click on them. I'm gonna go to Modify Interpret Footage. I need to make sure that all of my videos are the same frame rate. That way they're not glitchy and look even worse than they do as a JPEG. So I'm gonna come over here to interpret footage, come up here and I'm gonna type in 24. That way everything's perfect. All right, so now that we have everything set up, everything's good to go. I'm gonna drag over my video, drop my video in here. It's gonna be way oversized obviously. So I'm gonna come over to the scale button. I'm gonna scale it down to the perfect size so it just fits in the screen. Now I'm gonna grab my character. I'm gonna drop my character in. I'm gonna come in over here. Make sure you disable link selection tool. That way you can delete the audio. I'm gonna scale down my guy. And I did this where I had him walking. So that's what I was gonna to try to do is have him walk in, stop and crush it, right? Punch it. So he's gonna walk in. I'm gonna use C to cut. I'm gonna split the clip. V brings back up my pointer tool. I'm gonna to delete that out of there. So ideally you want this to be about nine seconds long. Cut this clip. I need to right click here, scroll down into the drop down list, and I'm gonna go insert frame hold segment. That puts us in a frame hold right there, and I see it's a little bit too long. So I'm gonna cut off like the first three seconds, 
drag this over, bring in the frame hold, and bam, perfect size, perfect length. Delete off everything else that you're not using. Make sure you don't have any excess stuff over here in your timeline. Looks like a guy's walking. So perfect right there. I'm actually going to cut the clip here. So I'm gonna bring this to the front. I'm gonna have that freeze hold frame right there. So what else I wanna to do too is I wanna to kind of make him a little bit smaller. I'm gonna scale this down. I'm gonna bring him in and I'm gonna make him bigger as well as soon as he comes up and comes in before he stops there. So I need him to be 71% by the time he gets here. So you just kind of look at the speed or the scale. I'm gonna say right here, I need him to be 71% and I want him to be right here. Now we can bring in our clip of Ethereum. So you're gonna see the Ethereum logo slide in. And right there, I'm gonna start a rotation on it. By right here, I want it to spin. Oh, that worked out perfectly. See how the punch looks. Oh, that's so perfect. Bam, perfect. So I'm gonna cut off all the extra clips I don't need. So here's gonna be our NFT. The ETH Crusher's walking in. Boom, nails it down, jumps on it. Shh, goodbye, ETH. <laughs> I also have an animated ETH Killer logo. So we're gonna drag in our ETH killer as well. Should have did that in the beginning. You can see right here it's 24 frames per second. Just wanna make sure that it's 24 so it goes with everything. That's going to be the screenshot I want. So I just make my guy full screen, come here, and just grab myself a screenshot. That way I got a cover photo. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna export this as a PNG sequence. So you always wanna make sure you're clicked in your timeline somewhere. File, export media. That's gonna open up Adobe Media Encoder. And here's the trick. You gotta come up here to format and we're gonna do animated GIF. No other settings matter. You just wanna make sure you export it as an animated GIF. In my comments, I don't think it really matters. I just add it because sometimes, just like the title, a lot of times, depending on the site or the platform, it'll actually use that to rank you or SEO. So I don't know if any of that is actually the title of the file itself is actually embedded or uploaded anywhere. So you can see right here, my output name is Cardano Ethereum Killer Kryptonic. That way the word Kryptonic Ethereum Killer Ryan Matta should be in there as well. So I'm gonna make sure I label that as Ryan Matta. I have not figured out a way to make animated GIFs with audio yet. So as soon as I do, I will let you guys know for sure. Bam, your GIF was exported successfully. We're gonna go to open downloads. So in order to actually view this, I'll actually have to show you guys on my phone. But if I just hold down the, the button on here, it's gonna be a lot faster than this, but you can't play a GIF back on your actual computer for whatever reason. So you see him coming in here, boom, spins ETH down, lifts his foot up, goodbye ETH. Perfect timing, that ETH logo couldn't have been any better. And that's it. ETH killer. All right, guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go and you're gonna wanna download the Cardano Dialis wallet. And I can never say this name right, so you guys know me, don't expect anything better. My grammar is horrible. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the wallet, send money over the wallet. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come over to nft-maker.io. You're gonna actually have to connect this website to your wallet. So you can only use one wallet. So make sure whatever wallet address you're using is the one that you wanna actually store, keep your NFTs on to start with. And you can see the first thing, it's kind of weird today. In order to verify your wallet address, for them to mint your NFT and return it back to the proper address, you have to verify that you're actually the owner of that address. So over here, you can see they're gonna give you a number. It might be three or four Cardano, whatever it is. And you can see right here, they had me send out 2.838 Cardano, but with cost and everything, it was 2.4982. So they actually sent me back almost the exact amount. They just kept that little dust. So like a quarter of a share of Cardano for them to verify my wallet, for me to use their site. I love it. So step one, download the DLS wallet. Step two is gonna be over here, come over here and connect your wallet. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose Mint NFT. We're gonna select our file. 
And let me just show you guys here. If I switch over here to column list, right here, you can see the size of this is 32.9 megabits. I've been told different things. I heard 40 is the limit, but I don't see anything on here that shows you know, a certain size or whatever. So it's just up to you. It's just whatever you think is best. But now you can actually see it playing here. So it actually shows you a little display of how your NFT is gonna actually look. It uploads your files to IPFS, which is a forever blockchain store of data. Think about the cloud, but forever. So what it does is it actually uploads this file to the cloud attaches it to your Cardano address where you're actually gonna have that NFT minted so you can verify authenticity. Really awesome. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna label this, title it with your name. So you're gonna be able to create a title for the actual NFT. Website, if you don't have a website, you can just leave it blank. Mine is ryan-mata.com. Your AR Weave ID is optional. I believe some people actually also use that a different way to file and verify authenticity that you're the owner but this site does it already for you nsfw is not safe for work so if anything you're making is any type of adult content anything sensitive in that nature you're definitely going to want to make sure you check that box so you're just going to hit next now it's going to come up here and it's going to estimate based off the file size how much cardano you need to send so it takes a second for this to all generate soon it's going to tell you exactly how much you need to send you just got to wait a second so this nft is going to cost me 4.078 ADA to actually mint this NFT. Now we're gonna come over to our wallet. We're gonna choose send. So the first thing we wanna do is copy this address. And I'm not sure why, but the copy button on this, on this site, <laughs> I don't know if it ever actually works. There we go. Now we need to copy the price. Strongly, strongly suggest that you copy and paste. It's super important. That number has to be exact. If it's off, even by a decimal, it won't mint your NFT. So you can see right here, my fee is 0.16. So we're gonna send. Gonna come over in here, type in your transaction password. Your fee total is gonna be 4.24 Cardano to mint this NFT. Now you just sit back and you wait for this transaction to process. So once your transaction is sent, it'll give you a confirmation that your transaction has been sent. You can actually view it in your wallet and you see it over here waiting on the website as well. Transaction has been confirmed over here on your DLS wallet. Still waiting on confirmation over here. And bam, baby, there you go. Payment confirmed. NFT minted and transaction submitted to the blockchain. So if we hit done, wow, that was so much quicker. The first time it took, I don't know, probably like four hours for me to actually be able to watch the NFT. Boom, bam, crushing it. Bam, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go and to verify and actually see this NFT, you can see right here, I have three NFTs. This is my asset right here. So now I can copy my Cardano wallet address. We can come over to pool.pm, that is the website. And you can come over here and you just search by your Cardano address. So here's my address, I search my address and bam, it shows me the three NFTs that I actually have in my wallet right now. So ETH killer, uh, Cryptonics NFT, Bitcoin Volcano. Now we're going to jump onto a site called CNFT. So if you just Google CNFT, so you'll see cnft.io. I'm gonna hit done. I do not know why it never lets me save my avatar. I've changed this avatar so many times, but it never lets me save it. So you can come over here, live listings. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the cell. So we're gonna come over here to cell. We're gonna choose this one. We're gonna choose cell token. We're gonna do a little bit more for this one. We're gonna do 25 tokens. And bam, cnft.io. And that's a wrap, YouTube. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I tried to pack everything into one video. If you guys want me to make a better video explaining Premiere Pro, the DLS wallet, cnft.io, any of the following topics that I didn't cover, I try to just give a brief general description overlay of how to make this type of content. So if you guys want me to dive in deeper on any one of those topics, definitely drop a comment below. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hopefully you guys are crushing it. Check out my NFTs if you guys wanna support the channel. I'm only gonna be making 100 of this style. So once this style is done, I will never make any more. So 
depending on if we blow up and the channel blows up or maybe I blow up in the NFT game, these might be worth a lot of money one day. So I appreciate you guys. I'm gonna keep pumping out NFTs. I'm gonna try to make at least one different NFT a day for the next 100 days. Then I'm gonna dive into actually making limited edition coins and all the other stuff that goes along on the Cardano blockchain. So I love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys next video. Peace.